Hello and welcome to Joe's Crafty Cauldron, my channel for crafting and collecting. Today's video is the special edition or limited edition, it might be limited edition, um, Yule Tide box from Geek Gear. So um, this is a quarterly box that they do. Um, I have only just received this, so even it is, though it is the Yule Tide box, I have just ordered and received it literally the other day um, because I hadn't really rated the limited edition boxes before i had got a few when they first started doing them but i just wasn't a massive fan because they are that little bit more expensive than the monthly box so um i didn't really rate the first couple that i got and i didn't wasn't really keen on the themes of the ones that followed so i sort of stopped getting them and i haven't got one for i think the last year or so um but i was watching a, another youtuber um, opening her limited edition boxes just to see what was in them and whether it was actually worth um, ordering these so this was the Yule Ball box um, I ended up ordering it because when I watched it there were actually a few bits in there that I did like the look of um, and when I sort of did my sums on the, um, the shop um, and I worked out that to buy the individual pieces um, that I wanted um, it was either more expensive than the box was it more expensive it might have been that the couple of bits that were available were sort of the same value as the box and actually there were some bits in it that I would have quite liked to get and yeah so basically it was better value to get the box I think also one of the items I really wanted isn't available anymore as an individual item on the shop so it meant that the only way to get that item was actually to order the box so that kind of swayed me a little bit um, into getting this box um, but yes so this is a little bit belated obviously because it is no longer Christmas but you know why not um, but yeah as I said I have only just got this box because I've only just ordered it um, when I last looked there were still some available on the website so apologies if they have now gone when you're watching this video I'm sorry um, but anyway let's have a quick look at the box before we get into it um, and then we'll see what we've got so I'm not massively keen on the sort of the front of this box so just let you know this is the same size box as their regular monthly boxes so it's not bigger or anything like that it's exactly the same size it's just obviously it's a little bit more exciting than the other boxes so this is the new box. I think this is their new logo because I keep kind of seeing this around the website and things like that. So I think they are changing up their logo and possibly their boxes moving forward. Um, but obviously I've not continued my subscription into this year for the monthly box. So I don't know if the monthly box also changed. Um, or at least I can't remember because I have watched one video of the January box. So yeah, I can't remember. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember if it has a new logo or not. But I'm, yeah, so I'm not keen on the front of the box. But I do really like sort of the sides of the box. So I do love the, this sort of um, tree effect, like the wreath. And so you've got baubles there with um, all of the, the different houses on it. And again, you've got that end, you've got uh, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. On the back, you've got the same. And then on the other end, you've got Hufflepuff and Gryffindor. So I really do like, what's on the back? Oh, it's the same picture on the back. Um, but yes, I really, I like the sides. I just don't like the front. But anyway, that doesn't matter, it's a box. But let's get into it, shall we? So open it up, give you a little first look so first impressions of the t-shirt because that's always the main thing that you see first um it's a pale blue by the look of it so i'm not too keen on the pale blueness um i probably won't wear it because i tend not to wear light colors i think this jumper is possibly the lightest colored jumper i own um so yeah i may not be a fan of that so let's get into it and i will tell you the items that i was kind of like yeah i want that item so this, I'm going to skip the t-shirt. We're going to mix it up a little bit. We're not going to do the t-shirt first. So this is one of the items that I really liked the look of and thought was adorable. And I think this is um, sort of one you can't get on the website at the moment anymore. So this is the coin. It's really cold. Um, so this is coin. It's very, it's so hefty. It's like, this is really good quality. It's really, really weighty. Um, so there we have, if it focuses not on my face so it's a yule ball punch token so it's a token you would have exchanged for your pumpkin um pumpkin juice or punch or anything 
um, that they had in those glasses. So you've got the um, the Yule Ball ice sculpture there on that one. And then on the other side, you've then got a punch bowl there with glasses around it. It's got snowflakes and everything. And you've got the surround is like a pastel blue. It's really, really nice. I really like that. Sorry, it's quite reflective because it is that shiny. Um, but yeah, that is that is gorgeous. That wasn't the main reason why I was going to get this box, um, but it kind of sold it a little bit more because I thought, well, that's really good to get in there. And I do love a coin. So that was the first thing. So that's really, really nice. I like that. I collect coins, so that will naturally fit into my collection. So we're doing well. Let's get the t-shirt out of the way so we can avoid disappointment. So this is the t-shirt. So on it, you have got um, the um, ice sculpture, which is inspired by Brighton Pavilion. I really feel like I have opened this already. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if this t-shirt came in another box or if I'm sort of imagining maybe I'm thinking of because I've seen it on the unboxing that I've that I watched that inspired me to get this I can't remember I'm not really a fan I do remember getting this because I made the I'm fairly certain I made the point that it looks like a sand castle so because of the color choice that they've done for this bit it looks like it's a sand castle that's just me maybe it's just me but yeah I do definitely I think I opened this in another box but yes so I think I have this t-shirt twice in two different sizes I think but yes yeah, so not keen on the t-shirt but when am I right that's the spoiler sheet so we'll hide that I love how I'm calling it a spoiler sheet even though I very clearly have uh, chosen to buy this and know exactly what's in it so the first thing we have, I say the first thing we have, the next thing we have, should I say, is packaged up in this nice pretend faux wrapped package. It's got sellotape on it. Let's try and, I think I remember what this is. I should have undone this before I started filming, but you know, I can't open the box pre showing you it. So uh, please bear with me. It's got four tabs, so. Last one, last one. Okay, slide it out. Right, I'm gonna quickly fold these over so they don't get restuck on it when I put it back on. So, these are, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I like things to be matching and symmetrical and da 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 da, -da. Um, So this is one thing that I got and I was like, oh no, they don't match. So we have, they are fluffy socks so fluffy knitted socks um, inspired by the Harry and Ron jumpers. So we have the burgundy jumper and then we have the blue jumper. So the socks themselves match, but the colours don't. So I'm not sure about them. I would never wear them. My socks have to match. They cannot not match. So... Um, I don't know if I would wear these anyway. I possibly would for like winter months. Um, but what I might do is I might go and check out the website and see if they've got, you know, the other, see if they've still got these available on their website and I might just buy another box of these so that at least I can have matching ones. Then I might give one of them to my other half or something so he can wear one and I'll wear the other set. Um, but yes, so they are adorable. And I do like the thought behind them and obviously the inspiration behind them. Um, but yes, so I'm not a fan of those purely because I like my socks to match. So that's the only issue I have with those is that they don't match. Um, then we have our next box is again wrapped up like a little Christmas present. No clues on the outside, which is good because that's what you expect from a Christmas present. Okay, this is another thing that I thought was actually adorable about this box. So it's a decoration and it's a rememberal hanging decoration. It's just so simple. It's really nice. It's got the little ribbon on top. I don't know. If, so the inside does kind of move around um, a little bit. Um, I don't know what's actually in there. You probably can't break into it so let's not try because I might break it but yeah I thought that was just really cute so I do have a Hogwarts based tree so I will happily pop that up on that tree next year 
so that's adorable this is what i mean this is a really like strong box this is why i thought no i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna buy the box Oop. see i'm leaving what i know is the reason why i got this box until last so next up you can't have a yule ball box or a christmas box without having the knitted hat that ron wears so here we have it it's got the little side tassels and everything it's got the tassel on the top so look at that i'm not really a hat person conventionally where's the seam that's the seams the seams at the back am i going to proceed to wear this for the rest of the video yes yes i am uh, if i can get on problem is my glasses are a little bit in the way and it's a little bit bobbly how does that look look good do we like this hat i probably won't ever wear this hat in fairness so we'll squish it down this will probably be the longest i ever wear it so you know we'll go with it going with it look at the little tassels i think i have got a version of this hat that came in like another festive box i don't know but anyway we'll leave it on then the next thing we have there are still a few bits in this box which is really good but then it it's a limited edition so you'd expect that so then we have a print which is in a frame which is quite handy sort of providing it in the, the frame already um only downside is it's a black frame and i don't tend to have black frames i have lots of white frames so I will probably swap it out if I put it up. But I'm not sure. I wasn't keen on this print anyway. So sorry about the reflectiveness. Um, but yeah, so it's that beautiful like Hogwarts Christmas scene. Um, I, I honestly think that it's been ruined by putting this Hogwarts text in the middle of it. So that's the disappointment with that one. If it had just literally been the print of that picture it probably would have been great but yeah it's just that that little wording of hogwarts just ruins that a little bit for me so that was a bit of a shame but what can you do next up we have a load of envelopes so we've got one two three four envelopes five envelopes i've got five envelopes so that leads me to believe we may have five christmas cards in the bottom of this can I get them out? Yes. So they're flat packed, so you do have to fold them yourself. So the first one we have, let's fold them as we go. So the first one we have is the sorting hat with little Christmas lights all wrapped around him. Not a massive fan of that card, to be fair. Then the next one we have is, there we go. So we've actually got the print of the box basically again not a massive fan not really liking that card as i said i didn't really like the outside of the box so then we have this one which is i think meant to be like the gryffindor common room with a christmas tree and a little sofa and then hedwig delivering a letter yeah i'm just not sure about these not sure also i'm the kind of person that i don't write a lot in cards i'm really bad at writing in cards so i tend to get fairly small cards so that when you're just writing to so and so blah, 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 from me it doesn't look like there's too much gap around it so yeah not sure about that one and then the last one is then um good things come in small packages um, which relates to the philosopher's stone again yeah i'm not sure about that so this is i think this and the this the t-shirt and the print were the kind of bits about this box that i wasn't really a massive fan of unfortunately but you can't win them all now the last thing is the main reason why i bought this box because obviously as i said this was not available on the website separately if it was i quite possibly would have just bought this alone um but because it wasn't available i was a bit like well the cost of this plus i do like this hat i like the remember all i like the coin um and all those kind of bits so because i liked them i was like yeah let's just get the box so it comes in this beautiful packaging i have a very strong feeling that i may be disappointed by this because i think that where they've run out of stock 
I'm very worried about this because this has a phoenix on it and I know that there was one of these which was a phoenix so I have a very strong feeling that the reason why oh I don't know I don't know what I'm saying but I think this is gonna not be the thing I wanted it to be which was in the box and was the reason why I bought this box so this box is possibly about to become the most disappointing box in Geek Gear history I think it is please please oh <sighs> thank goodness for that I think it's literally it's just that they've put it in the Phoenix box I'm praying I think I'm really hoping so let me just put this back together because I think it's kind of come apart a little bit I'm thinking that they ran out of the boxes <laughs> for the one that was meant to be in here and so they've put it in the Phoenix box ah go back in it's not working why are you not going back in come on get in the box get in you know you want to there we go got it right and then let me screw this back on so I'm hoping I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that this is the thing I ordered it for because this would be really worrying. So it's basically this really gorgeous sort of wax seal set. And I do have wax seal things in one of these boxes behind me already. So we have that in this beautiful sort of packaging there. So you get this sort of metallic um, sort of burgundy red wax there and then you get the stamper, which I'm hoping I'm going to look first before I show this to you yes so this is the correct wax seal so we're okay we're okay it's fine so it is um a wax seal that i'm hoping that you can see this i may have to take a separate picture and post it afterwards because on here yeah you can't see it's just not it's not focusing or at least it doesn't look like it's focusing to me so on there it says hogsmeade approved visit and I was like that's so adorable I really want this wax seal and they didn't have it they only had one wax seal left and it was from one of the, like the death eater boxes or something um so yeah so I really really wanted this wax seal and this is the main reason why I ordered this box so uh yeah I'm gonna be covering everything in this wax seal just for no apparent reason um but yeah so that was the main reason why I bought this box and why I justified buying it Um, so yeah, so it's beautiful, it's lovely in a little case, um, and yeah, I just absolutely love it. Oh, that was a scary moment because I thought that was going to be that they'd run out of the Hogsmeade seal and they'd maybe thought, oh, it's fine, we can substitute it with the Phoenix one. No, no, you can't. So whew, that's a relief. So it was the correct wax seal. Right, let's now try and quickly get all these things back in the box. I don't think they're going to fit because obviously now I've folded the um, the cards. So I'm not sure this is now going to fit. I'll give it a very good go though. Oh, maybe it will fit just. Can I fit the t-shirt in that little gap there? Maybe. Oh, look at that skills. Oh, I'm wearing the hat. The hat's not in there. Oh, darn it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it on for now because now we'll have hat hair. So we'll leave it. So we have got the limited edition yuletide box have they got the same oh no so they've given like a little message on this side that sort of says seasons greetings thank you for purchasing this box da, 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 da. um all the best for 2022 so limited edition yuletide box well-mannered frivolity short sleeve t-shirt that's why i don't remember the t-shirt or that being the t-shirt because I think there was a different t-shirt that said well-mannered frivolity on it so yeah so that's why I've got a duplicate t-shirt is because maybe they ran out of the well-mannered frivolity t-shirt and they've put the other one in from the November box potentially that's what I'm thinking I'm just guessing I think that's the case because that definitely doesn't say well-mannered frivolity so I've got the wrong t-shirt although I don't remember what the other one was like anyway so i might still drop them a message and just let them know 
Then we've got the licensed and exclusive snowy Hogwarts print. We've got the wizardry embarrassing homemade socks gift box. So that's the uh, mismatched socks. Um, wizardry Christmas village visit approval wax seal kit. Yay! Wizardry student homemade knitted hat replica. Wizardry Yule Ball Punch Token, collectible coin. Wizardry Rememberable, Rememberable, love it, Christmas Tree Ornament. And the Wizardry Christmas Cards Collection. So yeah, I think this, is a, this was actually, bar a couple of bits, really strong box. So I'm very impressed with this. This is much better than the other boxes that they've been doing monthly, in my opinion, for the last few months. Um, and yeah, so there were a number of bits in there that I would be inclined to use and put on display and things like that. Um, however, yes, I may need to go and buy myself another pair of those socks so that I can have matching pairs because I can't have one odd sock because they will never be worn by me if they are odd. So I might go and see how much they are on the site at the moment. Um, but yes, so that was the Yuletide box. Um, and as I say, when I last checked, which I think was yesterday... These were still available. Um, by the time I upload this, it may be another two days later. So um, hopefully they will still be available. If you did like these items, go and check that out. Um, and yes, thank you as always for watching. And uh, yes, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.